Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Well, last episode, after evolving Glaceon, we started a long search for the missing brother of our usually missing guard, finding our final wisp with the Iceland and some more old verses before locating and rescuing him from a Glalie. We then returned to Jubilife Village and reported Avalok's quelling, awakening the next day to an ominous sound accompanied by a change in the sky as these apocalyptic new happenings were blamed on our actions, leading to Commander Kamado banishing us from the village until we can prove our innocence by solving the entire issue, as we now wander homeless through the Fieldlands. Right, give me the wisp that must be right here. Thank you. Like a good spot to fly from. I guess this isn't night time. So we can't spot wisps from way up on high. Be good if it was, because you know. Wow, what a guess! That definitely looked like a place I put a wisp. <laughs> you love to see it. Like, I think there might be a wisp there, too. But there's also this precipice there. But I did actually go over here. Well, that's where you can catch the Star Raider, is it? <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, that was not a wisp here. See? One good guess countered by completely being wrong. That being an alpha and all that should catch it no matter what. Also, I don't even know if I've been in a dimensional barrier on this place. Just to point out as an interesting point. We're getting closer. I quite like the music at the moment. It's different. I wonder if night's coming around at this point. We're here after a little bit, and to be honest, finding as many wisps as I did was pretty cool. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in his suite could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. All right, never mind then. Is that really what you came to say? Look, you needn't try to put on a brave face. You've been a help to the Pill Clan, and we know what kind of person you are. Though it must be said, for every sympathetic ear you might find there, you may also find a detractor who fears your presence. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleaver's friends as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I alone can do for you. One of mine might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman after all. You most likely find Mai at the Warm Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well. So you've got to sort out, seek out both of them. Then choice? Now I'm looking at this right now. Honestly, if you're attacking me, you're dumb. It's a combi! Also, I didn't think this music would be far-fetched from something like a Mass Effect game. <laughs> Not so much Pokemon. A bit more sci-fi to it. 
That rift hasn't actually formed yet. The one bridge is over there. I don't know if night is exactly seeable. What is a day and night cycle, Neil? It's definitely sunny. I'm going to land near the evil Paris in a second. Got to watch out. They're never out for Sterling. Finding anything good at the moment, am I? <laughs> Trying to just randomly spot. More whiffs. Probably isn't going to go down too well. Magic up. Hey, mate. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. Um, I have to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I hope my leader what happened. Can't return to that village of yours, can you? I'm afraid the Diamond Clan could not be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weird Ear took a liking to you. I won't offer you my support, but forgive me, I cannot help you in this. What? Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Don't give me that. Hello? Hi? Oh, it's not a non violent chinx. I like how the other two are just giving side eye, though. Hi, Volo. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? How do you last, Alessandria? I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. Say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. Not, But not to worry. There are still corners of this weird region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be up the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. We're getting our own base now? Here we are! I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. What's this death knell that's ringing? Where is this? Ancient retreat! I love what you've done with the place. Sure, can you wait to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hiswidi's myths and legends. 
No, mistress, thank you. Just Kokita. And this is... Why, Alessandria is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, oh, the poor wretch you spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Uh, duty? Indeed, I'm to guide you, lost one. But the task of preventing a great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. Diamond, diamond clans? The pearls clans? The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all-encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? Two together, time and space comprise all creation. The universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other as those two clans do? I mean, they're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. This really holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous my ancestors? To leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? I mean, I've kind of got it, haven't I? There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Your art phone is beeping. You can see the location of three lakes marked on your art phone, so it's clearly that Arceus wants us to do it, right? Mrs. cookie has got a lovely workbench here. If you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. Uh, what about the pastures? Well, that's the problem, isn't it? What should we do about that indeed? What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Is this Silene's Abra? Off we go, Alessandria. It is, isn't it? What's that crime? Have we now lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Yes, we do. Let's go check it out. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where do you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Alexandria. Take a closer look at the letter. To Alexandria, you may use my Pokemon as a go between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Good time from the letter then. It's a secret. Now then, so we're to visit Free Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. I managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles too. Seems all's quiet for the moment. And so here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but uh, without drawing attention. So it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. The answer should be obvious. 
I guess it's you. Abra. <laughs> I choose you. We're going for the middle ground option, you know? Not a bad idea. Let's get Goodler in there then. How does Murkrow evolve? Murkrow does evolve, right? Oh my goodness. Every time this is the thing that's in my head. It definitely evolves. Right? No. Yes. No. Every time. I just can't decide myself. I'm sure it does. But doubt. Every time doubt. Remember eight evolves, right? <laughs> let's try. Well, I guess I'm choosing you, Adaman, because let's face it, my trousers match your top. And I want it. And also, you're pretty, like, your style, your design, I think, is way better. But that's all personal taste, right? Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that sesame food in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. I choose you, Adam Man. Also, you can count on me. So then, the leftover leader will... Leftover? I'm not someone's scraps. I will keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the history region's three great lakes to visit first. Right, we better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we were seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adaman. Don't cause Alexandria more trouble. Trial of Lake Verity begins. And Valor. And Curity. All the things. So you didn't secure me a farm, I see. Ginkgo Guild is ready to roll. Thankfully, we did, like, upgrade quite a bit. So that might count for something. Right, where do we go now? What do we do? Interesting how my save has now changed. On top of other things. You know what? I should spam some of these out now. We had a good dinner. I will evolve that Sligoo, by the way. When I figure out how to do it. I will evolve it. It irritates me that I, I reached the level that I thought, like, a dragon would evolve. And then it didn't. So it's obviously a thing. Alright, let's give it, like, lots of these. Ultimate power. Like, look at the HP gains that just happened overall, though. You hoping I pick a leader because you picked Adaman? Well, I'm sure some people pick a leader and now gets the Adaman, so. Works out for them, right? A choice like that was never going to work out for both, let's put it that way. Wow, HP effort level 4 just jumped quite a lot then. We're building a kind of weird team. Because this does seem like the point in time where we're going to actually need a team of Pokemon. And for them to be fairly powerful too. Let's go. So where are we headed? Oh, we can go anywhere we want now? Uh, oh, the Ancient Retreat's here. It'd be weird if I went somewhere completely different, right? I guess the Fieldlands Camp is the nearest place. But what I could also do is I can set this to night. 
If it's not already. Wondering if any more side quests would appear. I think it might have already been night, but I'm not sure. What does night under a red sky look like? Yeah, it's literally the same as when we were. We might have been in night anyway. Does this give us the ability to see? With some incredibly far away. Because it would be good to see some wisps. Where's that? Not a wisp in the alley. Alpha Cricketot. To be honest, most of Oh, Alpha Geodude. A lot of alphas about right now. I don't know if this red sky's got anything to do with it. Well, I got one of them. I guess that'll do. <laughs> Zubat looks really weird for me. Yeah. I don't know if the wisps appear under this night in the same way. That would be a big question. So I haven't seen a single shiny thing in flight, and I kind of expect to in some certain ways. That's our destination. I am here. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano, then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water, so Lake Verity was born. It was protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Your our phone is beeping. I guess when I came here earlier wasn't the time that God decided I could go in. That cave! It just appeared from nowhere. Is that, is that the art phone the professor was going on about? Let's do this, Alessandria. Mr. Kokida seemed quite intent. You would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guards these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. But what kind of challenge are we talking about here? I'm kind of hoping for like some kind of dungeon. It'd be pretty cool and all. I right, try and catch that Alpha Gyarados before I go in. Uh -oh. Wow, uh, so it, the lighting is making cool green splashes instead of blue. I kind of like that. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. I just got- I've got one of them! Is that my trial? A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Chance that thing, Alexandria. Prove to the Pokemon on the lake how strong you are. Who brought you in here? Huh. 
Right, we could go good to the on good to the action. <laughs> but I don't know which good to the would win. So, I believe in Sneasel. They growled at each other a bit. I believe in you, Sneasel. I've still not figured out how to evolve you. But I believe. Look at them growling at each other like that. It's super effective, so I feel like I should go in. Hey, if you lose, you lose, right? It's close combat, so it's gonna be good damage. That's a lot of damage. And a bow. That's the way, Alessandria. I can tell by watching that you and the Pokemon you've caught in those little bulls truly understand one another. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. I gotta fight you? I guess I've... Wait, hmm. Can I catch you though? That's my next question. I did notice a message about soft locking earlier, but I'm pretty sure this is just story, and if it was soft locking a story, that'd be weird. Don't fight, we don't... Your emotions. Share them with me. Well, I don't want to fight. Hey, they're yours. Go on, have them. So it speaks from his mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? I mean, bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Harsening. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisuli's clans? You not be able to hear this, or are you getting a headache from this? We're all so different. I didn't get that thought at all. It's a wide world. I guess that would be that. What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? I mean, life is complicated. To be honest, I felt bitter. Because it's just like, yeah, I felt bitter. Because it was kind of crap. <laughs> Honestly. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Mesprit's Plume. Proof that you've completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Now, you don't want to fight. I can't even imagine what that must feel like, having a Pokemon talk to you about words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I cannot even be surprised at things like these after seeing the sky itself so warped. Now we two lakes left to visit. No catching of you then. I good Drew ready for his first outing as well. <laughs> 